Uh, I'm, I'm representing the Heat. Ah, good old Pat Riley, man. How you doing, man? This this Sean Marks? Yeah, man. I'm just, yeah, we here. Hey, hey bitch ass nigga, get on your knees. What? What you hard to hear? Get on your knees. Get on them. I seen the way KD and Kyrie doing you. We seen this. Don't have him tell you again. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm I'm his assistant GM. I'm the new hire. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one of the biggest mistakes y'all made over the past couple of months now, or the past couple of years, way too much for Jimmy Butler, man. Jimmy Butler's nice. He's nice. But, I mean, come on. Y'all know for a fact you're not going to be willing to pay J Jimmy Butler for that long, man. You know for a fact. That's a lot of money for one player. So how about this? You get you 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 get to keep Bam. You get you keep Bam. But Jimmy, we can both agree that was a bit much. So I'll take Jimmy. I'll take Kyle Lowry off your hands as well. And I mean, you already paid Duncan Robinson way too much. We'll take Duncan and then y'all get KD and Seth Curry. See, I think Jimmy Butler is considered untouchable in this situation. What I have for you is KD straight up for Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson. Yeah, we could throw Lowry in there to make the salaries match and two first rounders. Yo, yo, yo. Not much, man. What's up, Terrence? How you feeling? Great. You know, I'm calling on, beh on behalf of my Chicago Bulls. You know what I'm saying? We'll give you a multiple-time All-Star, 6'11", 240 pounds, Nikola Vucevic. We'll give you an up-and-coming. Yeah, we're not, we not hearing that. We're not, we not hearing that one right there. Yo, what's good, Lo? What up, what up, what up, man? And let's 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 get some some real trades going down. That's what I like to hear. Who who you representing? I'm representing the New Orleans Pelicans. Oh, I love to hear this, man. Cause I personally I ain't gonna lie, man. I've been having my eye on Brandon Ingram for quite some time, man. And I know for a fact it'd be even better if you can put you think about Zion and Ingram. Think about Zion and KD. Think about that. That, that's what you came for, right? Hey, but there's, there's a little more. I want both of them. Whoa! Okay. Shit. All right, let me hear the trade. Let me hear the trade. Let me hear the trade. We'll go B.I. and C.J. Oh, it, me, I'm, if, I, wait, 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 wait. I'll trade for Zion if that comes with a diet plan. Right now, you're getting him at 300 plus pounds. And I need him at two 250. I can't, 300 is crazy. We need to write in his contract some type of contingency on losing weight. I, that didn't work out for me last time when I tried to do it for Kyrie, but we got to do that for Zion. All right, then we go back to Ingram. We'll go Ingram and CJ, and he'll give us Ooh, okay. KD and Kyrie, and we'll throw. Right. And then we'll throw in one Laker pick and one Bucks pick. Oh, you're you 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 playing hard. You playing hardball. Let me let me see, cause I, I know you you playing hardball with me right now. I know for a fact you got a little bit more than that now. Come on now. <laughs> I know, I know you got more than that now. I know, cause I know the Lakers, they empty the motherfucking chest for, for AD. I know you got more than that, man. I gave you a Laker pick and a Bucks pick, bro. What you mean? No, 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 no. I'm asking for more Laker picks. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll give you both Laker picks and I'll keep the Bucks picks. B.I. and C.J. for Kyrie. I need something else. I need one more play. I need another play in there, man. I need something else. What you, what, what's it? The, the first I'm going is like Trey Murphy. Look, man, you getting superstars. You, how about this? We just, okay, okay. we swap, what else? We, we swap superstars. We just swap superstars. Give me Ingram, BI, and Zion. Throw in two picks for Katie and Kyrie. We can forget the, we can forget the, the weight loss. We can forget that. I'll take care of that myself. Me, me and, and Zion, we'll start losing weight together. Okay, me and him will both be on the same plan, man. Hey, I need to slim down myself. So we'll 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 work that out on our end. Don't you worry about that. KD Kyrie Kyrie for BI and Zion. That's that's not going down, big dog, man. You know Kyrie's value is not that high. We can we can throw the picks in there. We have young talent, but giving you BI and Zion is insane. So what's what's your final what's your final call? What's your final trade? Don't be BI. I'll go to BI CJ, Trey Murphy, and like three first round picks. You ain't even gonna give me Herb Jones. Stop Herb, Herb Jones is off the table. Playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. It's KD, bro. Stop playing with me. KD on four years. Stop playing with me. 25 year old all star. Stop. You getting the two most skilled players of all time. Yo, what? we supposed to be really negotiating here, bro. Stop gassing Kyrie like that, bro. Hey, hey how about this? 
You throw on Herb Jones, I only take one Laker pick. We can do that. No, nah, like I'm still not doing that, bro. My team, my team's gonna need defense if I'm gonna have KD and Zion and Kyrie on the court, man. We we not we not we not incompetent right. like y'all over there. I don't know how to build around Kyrie. Okay. And so now you insult you now you insulting me. Okay, Ooh. now I got hang up because I gotta insert my dominance on here. I'm an alpha dog, unlike Sean Marks. That's not gonna fly. Who who you representing? Bro, who else? My Bulls, nigga. Oh, I love to see that because last nigga was tripping, dog. He was tripping. <laughs> All right, so we got the Bulls on the phone again. All right, cool, cool, cool. Like I said before, it seemed like Zach Levine kind of halfway out. You know, I, I went. Oh, you know, I, 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 no, 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 no. Stop it. Man. Cut the cap. He's staying, bro. You know he's staying, bro. Come on. Bro. Okay, so what you? who you wanting? What you offering? All right, first of all, DeMar can go. Let's just get that nigga out of here. Pack him up. Uh... As much as I love Pat Will, he got to go. He got to be in the tray, right? Yeah. Kobe White got to go. Like uh, cool. Booch got to go. Uh, and then we can get... Y'all niggas keep bringing up Vucevic. What are we doing? Hey, I'm calling on behalf of the world champion Golden State Warriors. Mm. You need to free us some cap, so you want Kyrie. Okay. No, no, okay. no, no, no. no. We want KD. Hey, listen, I, I know it hurts for the rest of the league. We want KD back. I will do the rest of the NBA world a favor and not trade this nigga Kevin Durant to the Golden State Warriors. I'll just do everybody a favor, bro. I'm not trading him to the Warriors, dog. We just, it's just not happening. So, who are you representing? Me, I represent Toronto. All right, all right, all right. I like, I like Scotty Barnes. I like what I like. I, I see out of him. So, I'm pretty sure you're going to throw him in the trade. Let me see what you got. Let me see what you got. Let me see what you got. What I'm looking at, first off, I'm, I'm definitely giving you uh, Scotty Barnes, right? You have added that. I know you guys want a young star. I can definitely give you that. From there on, to make the contracts work, I'll give you another win now slash rebuilding piece, I feel like for your team, which will be OG and Anobi. Giving you OG and Scotty gives you the ability to not be completely bad, but be good enough to where you're gonna be better than the Rockets so that you'll be able to maintain your picks during pick swaps. I'll throw in Gary Trent in there, another piece that you could potentially trade away. So the deal is gonna be Gary Trent, OG, and 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 um scotty barnes and then i will be giving you four first round picks what you can you can take two of those picks back if i can have precious and i'll give you seth curry mm. see i am somewhat interested in that however i would still like to retain the defensive length um and youth to the team so what he used what he's what i said i give you nick claxton You'll give me Nick Claxton? Yeah. Mm. Mm. See, we already have... Mm. Here, here's, what, here's what I'll tell you. Here's what I'll tell you. Here's what I'll tell you. I'll give you Chris Boucher instead of Precious, and then you give me both of Claxton and Seth Curry. No, I need... I, I want, I want, I'd rather have Precious than Chris Boucher. Mm. Okay, okay. Um, I'm not sure if I can give you that... Come on, man! You're busting my balls, dog. You getting, you're getting KD. You're getting Seth Curry. I'm giving you more length after that, and I'm telling you, and you ain't gotta give me as many picks as you're saying. You just give me two, two picks. Okay, you got yourself a deal. <laughs> got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> All right, hello, hello, Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who am I talking to? Uh, are you talking with the Pacers? With the oh, okay. All right, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I highly doubt y'all have anything of value, but no, I, ha I have the best trade you're gonna hear. Okay, this entire this entire all season. All right, okay? let's let's well, listen. Miles Turner, Bubble Jordan, and the second coming of Stephen Curry. Who says no? Who? Buddy Hield. Who says no? Okay, get off my phone, nigga. No. <laughs> get off my line. Get off my line. Yo, what up, yo? yo. I'm representing. The Memphis Grizzlies. Mm. What are you trying to get? Pro I'm probably going to get hated a lot in Memphis, but I really feel like this moves the needle for us. Who are you, who are you trying to get, though? Who you want? Kevin Durant. Woo! I, and see, that's and, and that's and uh, it's about time people out there in Memphis took it serious. An upgrade from Ja to KD is what you need, man. I love it. I think straight up, Ja Morant for Kevin Durant. Yo, bro, you are ta you're talking my language.
straight, straight up, up, right? You guys are set up for the future. You don't have to explain it to me, but go ahead, go. You guys are set up for the future if you get John Morant, the second most blockbuster player in the NBA, right behind LeBron James. He's only 22 and he's an all-star starter, right? And we get a bona fide number one option to for our championship aspirations, you know? Yep, because KD is the number one on the championship team, man. Yep. This is just a perfect deal for both teams. We I might agree. have to add, you know, Steve, Steven Adams and, like, uh, Danny Green to match contract, but I think... Yeah, right. that is true. Well, who we, who we throwing? Are you throwing Steven Adams? Steven Adams and Danny Green to match contracts. Can you can y'all do Danny Green, or could y'all just... Did they just sign him? I think so, but... Uh, I don't know if he's tradable, but if not, then it'd have to be Dylan Brooks, which I don't really think is that big of a problem. Yeah, I think I think it has to be Dylan Brooks. Yeah. Kevin Durant can shine with guys next to him like Desmond Bain and Jaron Jackson Jr. Because like those those are like I, really good role players who can break out into number two options, you know? I agree. I, I actually agree. I think because defensively Jaron Jackson got him. Bane is doing Bane things. You still got Brandon Clark too. I I like this trade. I love it. You don't. But yeah, those three guys. I think for KD, it works out for great for us, and that's my offer. All right, I love it. Good deal, man. Good deal. Thank you, man. <laughs> what a guy, man. What a guy. What a guy, man. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Yo, what up? Who, 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 who's this? Who's who am I from with? The next, the next front office. I'm representing the Knicks. What's up? Oh man. Okay. All right. This, this better not be a troll, bro. This better not be a troll, bro. All right. Knock, knock. Who, who's there? Julius Randle. Julius Randle. Who? Julius Randle and picks. Yo, yo. Hello. Hello. What up? What, what's up? Who, who I got on the phone with me? This is Swiper from the Denver Nuggets. I'm assuming you, you calling for KD. I know that you got Ben Simmons on the roster, but I know we're in a multiple team trade right now. We can't have Ben Simmons with this player on the team, but I want to give you Michael Porter Jr., Bones Highland, a first round pick, and Zeke Naji. That's it? For Kevin Durant. But. That's it? That if you're just talking about from a pure basketball standpoint, there may not be 10 other players under the age of 25 that you could say that are better prospects than Michael Porter Jr. So. The the problem though is that even though he's under twenty five, and you're right, he has a back of an eighty five year old. See, that's that's the problem. Unless, you know, unless you all give us, we just swap point guards. I mean, y'all give us Jamal Murray, y'all get Ben Simmons. It's interesting. But the only thing is, Ben Simmons plays power forward, so I don't know. I don't know if you want to play power forward at point guard. That'd be the only issue. So I would have to respectfully decline that. Well, well, Jokic, also, Jokic plays a point though. Denver, Colorado. You know, we like to run a nice two-man game with a great off-ball scorer, on-ball creator. Take that out of the offense, and then say we're going to have no point guard on the court that has the ability to shoot beyond three feet. That probably just wouldn't work for the best interest of our team. And obviously, the playoff performer that Jamal Murray is, we're just a little hesitant to let go of him, as great as Ben Simmons is as a defender. Toronto giving me a hell of a package right now. Okay, what's, what's the offer they're offering you right they, now? They're they telling me they're going to give me Scotty Barnes. Mm. They're telling me they're going to give me OG. They're mm. telling me they're going to give me Gary Trent. Mm. And they might even throw pressures depending on how many draft picks we can do. Mm. You you tell me which 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 package is better. Let's be honest. Let's, let's be honest. I mean, Toronto has a fabulous package, but again, again, I'm very high on Scotty Barnes. Our scouting department was evaluating Scotty Barnes as well. We think very highly of him. I think the issue you're coming to with is you're asking Scotty Barnes to reach a ceiling that you've already seen from Michael Porter Jr. Well, you might be right. He had a what he had when he first came into the league was herniated disc. He no longer has herniated disc. That's not his issue. He had a pinched nerve that was not allowing for him to move as well as he wanted to, which is a, is a fairly common injury for people, but it's not a reoccurring injury. So again, if Michael Porter Jr., let's just say this, Michael Porter Jr. is fully healthy this year. He's averaging, you know, 22-7 on 51-45, 82, which is what his numbers were basically the year prior. And you have an opportunity to say, I can load up on this player and be an offensive juggernaut, and I can just fill out the pieces around him all defensively. You're talking about one of the best offenses in the league already. With Scotty Barnes, you're still wondering what he is. Is he going to be more of a Scotty Pippen level player, or is this a player you can actually build your team around? 
or it might just be an empty box. And that's what Scotty Barnes could be. He's a good player, but we don't know what he's going to be. So I think that Michael Porter Jr. is the more sure prospect. And if Michael Porter Jr. was healthy going into this last draft, he would have been drafted ahead of Scotty Barnes as well. So I, I agree. And if Michael Porter Jr. was healthy, he is healthy, by it, the way. It might actually, if, if he wasn't, if he was healthy last season, it might actually be one of, it might be one of the better trade packages. Too many red flags with MPJ, but last time he was on the floor, you're right. He, Wait, does he have does he have does he have more or less red flags than Kyrie Irving before you signed him? Okay, all right. See, this is where I get disrespected. Okay, all right. I'm gonna have to go with Toronto making KD a Raptor, but y'all let me know in the comment section below which trade package was the best. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button and a notification bell. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace.